Sometimes there, co- there comes programs on net, um, terrestrial television that are very fascinating, but some, maybe controversial, but they're worth the watch. And one of these is How to Change Your Mind on Netflix. It's four episodes, and the episodes brings to life the 2018 book by Michael Pollan, How to Change Your Mind, What the New Science of Psychedelics Teaches Us About Consciousness, Dying, Addiction, Depression, Transcendence. Episodes are dedicated to LSD, Persycholobin, MDMA, and Mesocillin. Ryzen takes all the drugs he examines, documenting how they affect him, as well as meeting wisdom keeper Erica Gagon. Pollen is no old age hippie either, only starting to dabble with drugs in his mid sixties. Series opener tells how LSD was widely accepted in the sixties before its 1966 ban. Over the past two decades, his search into how the drug helps people with mental illness and depression had become more widespread. Two people spoke of how using the substance in clinical settings has helped ease their problems against the odds. Jeffrey Banner's chronic headaches, which are so bad he considered assisted suicide in native of Switzerland, were eased having taken part in a medical study looking at LSD. Author Alan Alnet Wolben reveals he has been able to treat an unstable mood by microdosing a substance. A desperate was actively suicidal, she explains. I tried every med and nothing worked. I think I had a mood disorder. The reference in Eyelet was so noticeable, he says her daughter jokingly asked if she was on acid. Disclaimer states that how to change your mind is purely to entertain and inform and not to provide medical advice. The series is not advocating drug use. The results are hard to ignore as well as enriching the debate between about psychedelics in medical practice.